Now let us start how to install Minikube in AWS EC2 instance. I'm selecting Ubuntu image with T3 micro type. See, it has to be like two vCPUs and one GB memory at least. Yes. Next, I'll be adding storage for a of 8 GB. Next. I'll be selecting it is already existed because it will be keep on creating the other things when you launch an instance to avoid that duplicacy. Doing that. Okay. Let it get started. Okay, finally. To access the, I'm um, using the uh, WinSCP. You can even use Putty or something. getting authenticated checking SSH okay okay let me update my system getting updated for more videos please subscribe my channel techmetric I stored complete commands here over here I will be posting this all the commands which make you easy to install I'll be giving executable permission for this kubectl yeah I've given that now I'll move that particular file to my local bin now let me install docker docker is necessary when you are installing kubectl or any other container service which is which you are comfortable with Okay, it's done now. Docker has been installed. Now I'll install Minikube. Yes, done. Let me check the version and commit ID. Yeah, this is my commit ID and this is my version. And let me log in as root user. because VM driver should be equal to none because you don't have any other VM because it is because EC2 is itself as a virtual machine if you are installing with uh, Windows or Ubuntu then you can make it as like OS box which you would be installing right virtual box in that case you have to use that okay for this error you have to use this particular command yes see it worked now it's getting installed take some time Let's 
to watch of the next episode. <laughs> take some time okay it's done I'll just run one of the image in this kubernetes cluster yeah I have created like one country like minikube hello minikube as a one pod let me show you pod see it's running now let me deploy that particular pod I'm creating a deployment okay perfect Okay, deployment is also created. Now let me show you my deployments. This is my deployments. Now I will expose this particular deployment into port 8080. Yes, exposed. Now let me get you the service where it is running. See, this is the particular IP you have to open in your security group because you can access this like 30764 from this particular port number you can access what it has been deployed let me show you that security groups like you can come over here security groups okay what is the port number 30764 Zero seven six. No, it's not that. Let me add that. Three zero seven six four. Done. I'll be giving anywhere because it's an inbound. If anyone try to access this particular port, it will be visible to browser. That's it. Nothing else. Yes, it's done. Now, let me select this IP, paste it over here, and let me check the IP number. I forgot very bad at memory 30764 see you can access this for more videos please subscribe my channel tech metric and please click on the like button if you like this video thank you